What's up guys, it's Zach, and I hope you guys enjoyed that funny moments montage yesterday. Almost 100 views in the first 24 hours. Really psyched about that. So today I'm going to be showing you a 1v1 that I did with this kid, just for fun, you know, after a game of heavies or something, of Pit um, Team Slayer first 15, you know how it is for classic 1v1s. And I got some tips from Fruit Cup PGL, and he is the number five person on the PGL leaderboards for 1v1s. So he taught me some cool stuff, and I'm going to see if I can teach you guys some of the same stuff today. So off the start here, you're going to see me go for overshield. On this map, since it is pitted, it's overshield, rockets, two snipers, and a scatter shot. So there's a lot of power weapons on this map. And a lot of people will either go for overshield or rockets. I like to go for overshield because I can typically get there first. And as you can see, he just picked up his sniper, but I didn't see that in the middle of the game. I kind of just expected him to go for rockets since he didn't go for OV. And he does a really, really good job here of taking my overshield out. He easily could have killed me here just by all the shots in the end. He even landed one through the wall there, but... Uh, basically, I'm just trying to stay training here. I know that he's S2. The only way he can go is cuts or court, and I see that he's still hanging around S2. I'm just trying to put a lot of shots into him because I want to get that sniper control for when he starts spawning. I'm going to try to keep going off the spawn. So I throw a nade. I put more shots, and I just, I'm not having any luck trying to get this guy. So eventually, I'm just going to run around to his court and lift up, and that way I can get behind him. So I keep getting him one shot, and he's not dying. So I decide that enough's enough. I'm just going to run behind him and lift up with rockets, get behind him. He can't stop me now. So I take him out. He tried to run at a melee for me, which is a, probably the best thing he could have done because there's a chance I would have blown myself up, but he just wasn't in the right spot. So since I just killed him um, S2, I'm looking for a spawn somewhere on like Mauler or Flag side. And yeah, so I'm still looking around. I have no idea where this kid's at. He makes his way back to S2 for some reason. So this is all about forcing the spawns, right? So he's going to spawn the flag or court. And by me throwing a grenade into the courtyard there, that prevents the spawn from being in court. And since I don't have any nades anymore, any sort of negative reinforcement you can have. So I'm just sitting there looking at the spot where he spawned, trying to force a mauler spawn. There, so he spawned mauler, and that's because he spawned flag before, and it didn't work very well for him. And so they tried to spawn him court, but I was looking there, so he spawned mauler instead. So I'm basically just sitting training here. I like this because when overshield comes back up, I have an easy route to it, and... Um, when his sniper comes back up, I have easy route to it as well. So I have one rocket and two snipes here. It's kind of risky sitting on the, uh, trying to spawn kill right here. As you can see, I missed one snipe shot, and I think I hit him in the body here as he runs to my side. Yeah, I do. So I see that he's going over to my side. I have one rocket left, so I want to make sure I don't mess it up. But Ubi comes up. I timed it. I stayed there first. So I have overshield. I'm looking around for this guy. Don't see him. He's right above me. I let him get a melee on me first because I don't want to rocket myself. So now I pick up my sniper, and I don't want to have just a sniper, so I find wherever his BR landed, right there, pick it up. And knowing the way that this guy plays, he likes sniper more than overshield and rockets, so I'm figuring he's going to go to his S1 right now, and there he is, he pops up. I throw a grenade just in case he stayed there, and I look into the courtyard in case he tried to run, and I got him with a nade. So now I'm back into the trying to spawn kill here, trying to look to the mauler, not seeing him yet. He's trying to play pretty passive right now because of... Like, obviously he's losing 7-0, to zero. he doesn't want to just run out and keep getting sniped. I see that rockets are up in 10 seconds, he runs at me, tries to get a melee, and he gets taken out. So if you're in this position that the red guy's in right now, basically what you're going to want to do is you're just going to try to find some way to get over to the other person's side. And do you want to pick up all of your kills on the other team's side? That's the best way to do it because then you prevent them from getting on a roll. So like if he somehow managed to get to my training, I would not be looking into my training for him unless I heard him. So I would really be looking every other part of the map. So now I have rockets and snipe again. It's looking pretty good. And uh, one way to get behind someone without them hearing you is a thing you can do called stutter stepping. And you may have seen some people do it. It's basically where you take half a step and then you stop walking and then you do that really, really quick. And that's done basically by just moving his, like, you can do it at any speed, but you just move it over and then let go of the trigger, like, right away. So you just, do, 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 you just try to stutter your way over there. And basically what that does is you end up sprinting, or you, like, walk at full speed sideways, but it doesn't make any sound because you're only making half a step, so your foot never really hits the ground. It's kind of weird and confusing, but I might do a video on that later, how to stutter step. So I know he's spawning in court, try to get a rocket off on him, make him one shot, get the snipe kill. Once again, that was because he had just been killed on his mauler side, and I was on mauler side, so that's going to force a spawn onto the side farthest away from there, which was courtyard. 
grab overshield again. If you can time overshield on this map, that's a huge advantage, especially with, like if you have overshield and rockets. They come up at the same time, two or three times a match. See, there, there he was trying to make his way to my side, but he was trying to go to S1, which probably wouldn't have been the best thing, because then that would have just let me know, hey man, I'm on S1. So, once again, I know this guy, he's probably going to go for sniper, and right when I think that he's not going to, I look away and he goes for it. So, now I'm just going to try to clean up the rest of this game. You guys can see me finish this game out, nothing too special, just kind of rock it in at one point again. And then the last kill I kind of struggle with, but I pick him up for the 15 -0. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something about 1v1s.